Would you like to know how to find the most relevant data in ScienceDirect? You have multiple ways to search content in ScienceDirect. The simplest option is the Quick Search box available at the top of the page. Quick Search allows you to choose whether you want to search across articles, such as in book journals, book content, or re major reference works, or images, such as photos, figures, videos, and tables. Just use the radio button here to make your selection. You can search for terms in all fields. You can even add an author or the source title as well. The quick search box is a simple and easy way to get you started in searching. However, did you know you have more searching options that offer you easy ways to perform a more precise and selective search? Let's visit the search tab. Now just quickly before I begin, I'm going to make sure I'm logged in. That way all my searches will be saved and I can access them again if I leave this session or want to return to them at a future date. Anyone can register by just coming up to the register button here. Here I'm just going to log in very quickly. Okay, I'm logged in and I'm ready to go. Now in the advanced search feature, you'll find you have more control over the exact content you want to search in as opposed to the quick search box we just looked at. You can search across all content in the All Sources tab, or you can choose to search in just journals, books, just reference works, or even just search within images. All of that is available to you up here. Additionally, using the search tools here will help you yield more relevant results. Don't worry though if you're not yet sure about how to further specify your search. ScienceDirect provides more tools with your search results to help you narrow down your search. I'll demonstrate this to you shortly. In each of the search tabs, you'll find you have two term boxes and a Boolean operator. Notice you can choose your parameters here. So you can search within all fields or you can specify an author or title or keywords. So you can see the list here. This gives you the ability to really customize your search. When entering search terms, remember to choose search terms that are specific or closely related to the topic of interest. Think of terms or buzzwords essential to your research topic, like disease names, side effects, practices, methodology. By taking a minute to look and review the search tips over here, you can greatly improve your search results. One basic tip that I will use here is including my term, kidney disease, in quotations. So I'm doing now. This means ScienceDirect will look for content specifically related to kidney disease as one term rather than returning documents that include both kidney and disease, not necessarily related to kidney disease. In this search, I'm looking for data on diagnosing kidney disease in cats. So my approach will be enter kidney disease as I have and search in all fields and make sure my Boolean operator is on AND and I'm going to use a wild card for diagnose like this using the aster key so that I can search for terms that would be diagnosis, diagnosed, etc. I'm also going to use all fields as my parameter here. Here you can see that I have an option to choose just journals or books. I'm going to begin with just searching across both journal and book content. I can also select whether I want to search in just subscribe sources or any source that I've indicated as a favorite or all sources. Since I want to see what content is available in ScienceDirect whether I have access to it or not, I'm going to go ahead and select all sources. Now if I come down here, I can also select a subject area. Now I'm looking for information about cats, so I'm going to come down just to the subject area of veterinary science and veterinary medicine, and I'm going to select that for my search. Notice we also have date range, so if I want to just search in a particular date range, I can do that too. All right, now we're ready to search, so I'm going to just hit the search box here. And now here are my results. You can see that ScienceDirect has found 705 articles related to my specific search, which is a good start. But I also have more tools on the left-hand side that will help me narrow down my results even further. For example, since I'm searching for information on cats, I could choose to add feline to my search results by just adding feline here 
and hitting search. And now you see that brings me down to 284 articles. If you notice, you also have a refined results box, which allows you to refine your results by source title, content type, year, or even topic, as you can see here. So if I want to also add cat to my search and limit it to that, I can do that here. I can also choose, maybe I want to begin with books, and then maybe I want just the most recent content published. So I can just select limit to or exclude here, like this. Okay, and now you can see now I have just 25 articles that are related to books in the most recent years. And now I'm ready to evaluate the content and decide which I need for my research. Now, before I end this tutorial, I just want to quickly point out at the top of your screen, you can see that you can also decide to edit your search further through Edit My Search, or choose to save it so you can access it again, or even set up an email alert or an RSS feed so you can be notified of any new content related to this search. You'll also notice that if I return to my search, all of my search results are saved down below the search box here. I can also go back to different searches that I've performed. I can edit them. I can delete them. I can also see the most recent results relating to that search. You'll also notice that you have some combined with and and combined with or ability here. So you can select a couple searches and then decide to combine them as well. Now, as I've demonstrated the different search options in ScienceDirect, you're ready to begin searching. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and if you want to learn more about ScienceDirect, keep visiting the training desk for other tutorials or even register for one of our live webinars. Thank you!